We're following breaking news this morning. Vina Township has been placed under fiscal emergency by the state. Over the last few months, we have seen multiple meetings like this one over missing funds from the township's accounts. Now, First News reporter Cheyenne Gibbons joins us live in Vienna this morning to break down the new information from overnight. Cheyenne? Good morning, Josh, Anna. In the 12-page report, there are six conditions in which the state auditor can then declare a fiscal emergency. Vienna Township has met two of those conditions. The first is a deficit balance of over a million dollars and then a township treasury deficiency. In February, the township noticed the missing money and asked for assistance from the state auditor. Trustees asked also asked that fiscal officer Linda McCullough be removed for failing to meet their duty and alleged that they mismanaged the township's money. Without any money, Vienna had to lay off the majority of their first responders. Currently, fire services is operated solely on volunteers and only three police officers are on payroll. The auditor cites that the balance deficiency is mostly attributed to fire services. The breakdown follows. Fire services with a 1.2 million deficit, road and bridge services with a $98,000 deficit and police services with an $84,000 deficit and a township treasury deficiency of over $600,000. Currently, the auditor of the state's office is supervising Vienna Township and they're going to create a plan that can hopefully get them out of this emergency fiscal situation. But again, this report is actually separate from the investigation that the state auditor is doing into Vienna Township and how they even got into the the situation in the first place. That investigation is still ongoing. Reporting live in Vienna Township, Cheyenne Gibbons, First News this morning. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.